Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here again for Visual Micro, doing another Visual Micro tutorial. Today we're going to be finishing up the entire series, today talking about the second half of the Visual Micro debugger. You remember last time we sort of just talked about the beginnings of the debugger, the basics, how to set up breakpoints, what you can do with some of the breakpoints, being able to watch variables, that sort of thing. Um, so today we're going to be looking at some of the more advanced features, some of the cooler features that let you delve a little bit more into the Arduino as what's going on without having to set up all sorts of external code. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're just going to go back into the project properties. And this time we're going to look, assuming everything is still set up like it was last time, and we're just going to come down here to micro debug reporting. Now, some of the cooler features come from the plugin's ability to report almost every aspect of the Arduino. Specifically, you can report the analog reading value, so you can get a graph, as you'll see, of the analog values from the analog pins. You can read the digital state of all of the digital I.O. You can see, you can even see how much free memory you have in bytes. So if you've got a really, if you have a really beefy program and you want to see how the memory is being allocated during certain parts of execution, it's very useful to see. You can even uh, scan the I squared C bus at startup. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you that because I don't have an I squared C device here, but you're just going to have to take my word for it that it works. What this would do is it would give you a window saying, these are the devices that are connected, but I don't have anything that does that. It works by using some code that was written for the Arduino, specifically for that purpose, to scan the I squared C bus for all available device addresses. So that's how that works. But I'm just going to turn all of these on, let you take a look at what they do. And again, these can be turned on and off individually. You can even adjust the report frequency. Uh, set to zero, it will report every 150 milliseconds. Uh, you can adjust the units here, milliseconds, seconds, hours, no filter, just let it have free run. So I'm just going to leave it at the default of 150 milliseconds. And just upload this and let the debugger do its thing. And uh, this is what I want if I pull this. There we go. Okay, so let's start with this. Here you can see the digital state of all of the pins, if it weren't so small, but you can see you've got pins 0 through 13, and then 14 and 15, I believe, are analog I.O. I don't know why those extra ones are showing up. But uh, green means that the pin is on, and 2 means that the pin... Er, um, Green means it's on, red means it's off. I've got a whole bunch of pins floating, so you might see them ambiguously change. I think three turned on and just turned off. But if I attach a wire from three to five volts, you should see it come on. And if I remove it, it should... Oh, yeah, I should probably plug it in the ground. Well, it turned off. There we go. So you can see the digital state of pins. You can, here, this is probably the coolest one, you can read the actual analog values. I don't have anything plugged into AREF right now, so they're all sort of just floating about, but if I were to connect something here, you could see it change. And you can actually see these run in almost auto time. So right now it's running at the 150 millisecond tick, but if I click the auto box, it'll report at a slightly higher rate of speed. Again, almost real time, not quite, but almost you can freeze and you can adjust the refresh rate you can even oh, turn that auto back on you can even zoom in wow recording screws that up but yeah you can zoom in and this will go f through the full scale it is auto ranging so if it goes down too far or up too far it will adjust the width you can even see the performance in bytes. This isn't too demanding a code to run, so we're sitting at right about 1650 bytes free, just doing absolutely nothing. But if you had a much more CPU intensive program, you could probably see this change. Well, you could see this change. So yeah, those are the three reporting features. Now the cool thing about all of these is that these are expandable. If I show other windows and an A gauge example you can see this is just a mock-up of some things all of the all of these uh, can I scale this? Nah, it's just gonna be weird, I'll get rid of that then 
all of these windows, the you can even pull out individual uh, analog channels, can be uh, written to one of those gauges I just showed uh, using .NET forms, which is slightly outside the scope of this video. But you can, I guess I can pull that back up real quick. And I hit it away, so there we go. So they can all be turned into things that look sort of like this. If you've got the programming know-how, you can make something that looks like this. So yeah, those are probably the coolest features to this, and it means you don't have to do a lot of code, you don't have to have a lot of external hardware hooked up. You can see what it's what the Arduino is doing just from the debugger view, which again is very powerful. It makes this plugin really, really great. So I'll just stop this, and let's go into another thing. Just scroll up here. You can set yourself startup messages. You can say something like starting. Uh, you can set up a wait. You can throttle how many messages get sent within a certain amount of time. Or you can, yeah, I'm fairly certain that's what that does. Don't use it all that much. Throttle. What does throttle do? Oh, that's an advanced feature. It makes sure that the gap between debug packets is within a certain span. It's just to make sure things don't get jumbled up. So I think I've used that once. All right, let's talk about really useful feature here. Let's say you've got other things hooked up to the Arduino hardware serial port, and you want to continue debugging. How are you going to do that? Well, thankfully, the Arduino ooh, Visual Micro Arduino Debugger plugin allows you to use software serial to talk through, say, an external FDDI, which I've got hooked up here, <clears throat> and you can create another you can create a virtual debugger port that you can send data through so that things connected to the Arduino's har hardware so uh, hardware serial don't come through the debugger so to enable that assuming you don't have uh, software serial code already in your code that's doing something if you do well that makes things a little more complicated what you do is you're going to you're going to set up the ports which i have here 8 and 9 as your RX and TX pins. And then you're going to select the remote transport, which I'm going to set to be software serial. And again, if you don't have any uh, extra, if you don't have any software serial code in your code already, you, can, you should ignore the remote port. And you're going to go to local port. And you're going to select the port for your FTDI or whatever you have creating the virtual serial and then set that to the COM port. The local speed, uh, you can leave blank. It will default to the debugger speed of 115,200 baud. So just let that be. Uh, remote port and remote speed. Those are the two things that you have to worry about if you have uh, software serial code already in your program. Then you've got to deal with um, setting up extra ports, making sure things don't overlap. But basically what it means is it doesn't have to add extra code into your program. It can just go off what you have already and do that. It can, go, it can essentially just use the code you have and create another software serial object that won't interfere with the uh, software serial you already have set up. So I think that's everything you need. If I just go ahead and run this... So it's going to still upload to the board. Oh, that still pops up. It's still going to upload to the board using com, whatever you have plugged into the Arduino, but it will now talk over a different com. So I was uploading and debugging over com three, but now it's debugging over com two. Don't know why that doesn't update, but if I unplug the doodad here, you can see that it stops. So it is still talking. It is talking over the FTDI port. If I plug it back in, there we go. It starts going again, and there we go. So you can run. You can still run the Arduino debugger without having an actual Arduino o hardware serial port. Now that's just for the Arduino Uno. You have other options if you have like an Arduino Mega, which has multiple serial ports. You're still going to need, obviously, an Arduino. You're still going to need an FTI, some way to get the serial out to your computer. But you can select the remote port to be um, 
if you're you the Arduino Mega has multiple serials, so it won't be serial, it'll be serial two or serial three, that sort of thing. So you're not limited just to the Arduino Uno. You can do this on the Mega, which again has multiple multiple serial ports. So that is really it for the Arduino debugger. So again, you can see all the cool things you can do with reporting. You can see these in almost real time. And if you don't have or if your serial bus is unavailable, you still have the ability to using by using an external FDDI to communicate with the debugger on the Arduino. So um, I guess that's it. So this has been Human Hard Drive for Visual Micro. I've hoped you enjoyed these tutorials. I hope these were informative. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or on the Ar Visual Micro forums. But yeah, I think that's it. Really great plugin. Again, the free is free. The paid plugin is 17 pounds, I believe, 17 British pounds, about $29 US for one license which if you're a single user that's really all you need but tell you what for thirty dollars that's really not much for everything that it gives you because you will use this almost every time you write Arduino code so really great plugin uh, I'm Human Hard Drive thanks for watching